Morning 7 Action News, always taking action for you. Two weeks after the primary election, a cloud is hanging over the results in the race for Detroit mayor tonight. Yeah, trouble with the vote count will not change the November face-offs, but it leaves a lot of votes in doubt. Now, here is the problem. As the write-in votes were being tallied, state-dictated procedures require election officials to mark votes like this with a hash mark and then a numerical total. Instead, nearly 20,000 votes were counted with numbers, but no hash marks. That's an apparent violation of election rules. Tonight, the two top vote-getters launched a war of words over the mess. Let's get live to 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi. And what are they both saying tonight, Andy? You know, as far as elections go, both men agree they're all about keeping things open, keeping results transparent. Now, that's about all they're agreeing on tonight as both men now go on the attack. It is very clear that there's some serious improprieties here. Uh, this is either gross incompetence or, quite frankly, criminality. There's no law that says you have to write hash marks. The law says you count the voters' vote. The campaign rhetoric now flies with a little more fire between mayoral candidates Benny Napoleon and Mike Duggan. Duggan believes the idea to challenge the write-in tallies came from Wayne County Clerk Kathy Garrett. The county clerk is closely allied with my opponent, and to walk in today and say we should cancel 20,000 people who legitimately voted, cancel their votes because a tallier marked something on a sheet is, is just unconscionable. But this is not a time that I'm rejoicing in at all. I am very concerned about this. I'm concerned about the integrity of this election. I'm concerned about the integrity of the process. Uh, I believe that the citizens of this community deserve an election that is fair, that is open open that is transparent. But what really set off tonight's verbal sparring match? A statement from Duggan earlier this afternoon. Well, the Napoleon campaign tried another dirty trick and it didn't work. You know, if you put once upon a time in front of that statement, it'll make good fairy tale. I don't know anything about this, and I have nothing to do with this. Napoleon answered Duggan's comments with a written statement saying, now that Mike Duggan has moved to town from Livonia, he gets to call me dirty? Regardless of how state canvassers review the results, the gloves seem to have already come off. This is the way Benny Napoleon has been from the beginning. Us versus them, divisive uh, kind of rhetoric. It's why he did so poorly in the primary. Every time Mike stumbles and, and stumps his toe, he wants to blame it on somebody else. Mike needs to take responsibility for the incompetence of his campaign. Clearly some strong words from both men as the state is expected to move pretty quickly on its canvassing process. Meanwhile, Sheriff Napoleon is calling for federal oversight of November 5th's general election. Reporting live in Detroit, Andy Choi, 7 Action News.